Hey y'all, this is the Geek Girl Cook and I'm back again. Today we're going to be making some fried chicken and potato salad. Yeah, fried chicken and potato salad. Simple stuff. When you look on the internet, everything is a little fancy. We're not going to do fancy, we're going to do simple. Some people don't know how to do the basics and that's what I'm here for, basic. I ain't too crazy about fancy anyway, but we're going to get right into it, all right? Alright, so we're going to start with the potato salad. I boiled the potatoes already, try to save time, and they cool down. You want to make sure your potatoes are cooled down. Alright, maybe I'm going to have to mix it in the bowl, sorry, in the pot in which I boiled them in because I need to be able to stir and I don't want them to spill it. So I'm going to put it in here until I finish everything. Finish combining everything. All right, first, I'm gonna go and waste some onions. Now, it depends on how much onions you like. Some people is oven lovers or fanatic for onions. But it's all right. All right, so now I'm gonna put my eggs in. Now, I had about I would like to say I did four potatoes. Oh, I'm sorry. One thing. Let me tell you what's going in this potato salad. Mayonnaise, sweet relish, mustard, a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a little bit, just a little bit, and eggs. See? Simple. Basic. Simple. I could have had these eggs peeled already sorry but Oops. Eggs. okay i'm just peeling the eggs that's gonna go in here you're gonna see how simple it is and absolutely delicious sometimes we got to go back to the basics of food you don't have to be fancy especially if you don't want to if you don't want to be fancy you just not used to it you learning you want to go basic when you're learning then as you go along you put your little twist on it you put your little twist all right so my eggs are all peeled now I'm gonna put them in the potato salad it's just kind of this is how I do it by the way my hands are clean Clean, clean, clean. This is how I do. You could do this in a bowl. You could do this in a plate. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm putting four eggs in. I don't know if I said that already. If you don't like eggs, if you're allergic to eggs, skip the eggs. Just skip the egg part. You don't necessarily have to put eggs in it. It's up to you. So what you guys got planned for Thanksgiving? Me? I don't celebrate it. But I just love the holidays. I think people are nicer, friendlier people. No, but I have to eat. I like to eat. My family like to eat. Hope you guys can see this a little bit closer. This is just my egg and onion. So I'm just gonna move it around with this. What you don't wanna do is stir your potato salad. You don't want mashed potatoes. You want potato salad. So you wanna kinda you know, fold it in, toss it a little. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going in with my relish. I'm 
be scared of the relish. I want a little sweetness to it. And it's probably not enough. We'll see. The thing about this, you have to taste it as you go. Just taste it. It's all right. It's, everything in here is cooked. Let me see if I can bring this up a little. But then on the downward, because I want you guys to really be able to see it. I'm so sorry for moving around. and oh, That might be better. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. That might be better. Sorry for making you dizzy. Oh, that's better. I think. All right. So, I'm going to put a little bit of mustard in there. Oh, I should have shook it. Always shake your mustard before you go put it on your food. Then I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper. Not much. Just to give it a little oomph. And you don't have to do that. That's just something I like. You don't have to. This is black pepper I'm putting in here. I'm gonna move it all around. And really, it doesn't matter the steps that you do first. Do whatever you want, because it's yours. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use a spoon. Kind of like flipping it around. Just flipping it around. I'm going to wash this off because I'm going to put my mayonnaise in. Anyway, this was some mayonnaise. I believe I'll scrape every drop out if I can get everything I can get out of here. Every drop. How much mayonnaise? I don't know. Please don't, don't be mad at me for this. I don't know. Just start with little bits. Don't be... See, you can always add. You can't take away. Start with little bits. And then see how that goes for you. Little bits. But it's not enough, so I'm going to go in with a little bit more. See, I could always add in. Make it a mess over here, too. All right, so what I did, I cut my potatoes in. Let me try and get out a potato to show you. I should have showed you before. About that big. And I boiled it. Poured salt in the water and I boiled it. Until they want the pork done. You don't want them to get mushy. You just want it to be done. Alright, so let me see if. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put more. More relish in there. You want it a little, well, my potato salad have a little sweetness to it. And I'm going to put more onions in here because I didn't taste no onion. You want to taste a little bit of onion. Look at that one. I'm gonna put more onion. And I can taste a tiny bit of a kick of the cayenne pepper. Not much, just it, and it's just right. Put more mayonnaise. Wow, that's coming along good.
Mm-mm-mm. Boy, that's tasting nice in my mouth. Tasting, tasting, tasting. Mm. Now that's good. I'm gonna put more relish. Some people put celery seeds in there, potato salad. I don't do that. Like I said, we're going to keep it simple for beginners. That potato salad is delicious. That potato salad is delicious and finished. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transport it into a bowl. The bowl that I was going to use earlier. I'm going to put it in here. See, look, finish. It's not runny. It's just right. Simple. Good grief. Could it get any simpler than that? is I make potato salad many different ways. Right now we're talking about simple. And that's simple. Look at this. Simple. You could put paprika on there. I don't do that. can't do that. Absolutely you can. So what I'm going to do, I'll be back so we can start our chicken. Be back. Alright, I'm back. It's chicken time. What I'm going to do first, okay, nope, nope, I'll keep forgetting to tell you the ingredients. We're going to be using Lowry's seasoned salt, onion, sorry, this is garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, I'm an MSG girl. Yes, I am. And I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper. Be careful of these red things because they will make your chicken appear to be done. And it won't be done. So be careful. The paprikas. I wouldn't advise anybody to put paprika on their chicken if they frying it. Does it I don't know. It just doesn't make much sense to me. Because it will be nice and golden outside and inside. Womp, womp, womp. All right, first I'm going to beat this egg. We're going to this egg to make it crispy. Put a little bit of milk in that, too. Just a little bit, not much. See? Then we beat, 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 beat the egg. All right, push that to the side. Now, we're going to use flour. How much flour? I don't know. Whatever you think is good enough. This is a quarter cup. I'm going to use, let's see. I'm only frying three pieces of chicken for video purposes only. So I'm going to use three of them. A third of a cup. Three of them. I'm just going to put it in. Now, with me. I do not season my chicken. I season my flour. 
And boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know how much. But I will tell you this. If it's not salt base, you can go crazy. This is garlic powder. This is onion powder. Crazy. Black pepper. MSG. I wouldn't advise it. If you have high blood pressure, don't use MSG. Please don't. I, I use it. I don't have high blood pressure. And this is my chicken. And I like it in there. Whatever seasoning you like, put it in there. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Nah, yeah, it's your stuff right here. Just be careful with the salt base seasoning. Now, let me see. Yep, I taste the flour too. Nope. Not enough seasoning for me. You need to be able to taste it. I'm putting more onion powder. More MSG. Black pepper. And I'm going to put the cayenne pepper. Cayenne. Cayenne. Not too much. Like I said, you don't want your chicken to appear to be done, but it's not. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. You do not have to season your chicken. You do not have to season your chicken. I promise you that. All I do is season this flour. Just make sure you got enough seasoning in your flour. See? Good. Good stuff right there. Now my oil been heating. Let me see. I'm not really ready to go. But that's all right. This chicken is washed and cleaned already. Yes, I leave the skin on my chicken. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put it in the egg. Put it in the egg. Mm -hmm. Shake it around, move it around. And then I'm going to put it in the flour. Now, I've been trying the method of Wet hand, dry hand. <laughs> oh, let's see how it's going to work. It don't usually work, but we're going to try it again. Maybe it don't want to embarrass me. It might work. <laughs> All right, we're going to batter that up. Not batter, we're going to flour that up really well. We're going to flour that up really well and put it to the side. Then we're going to do another piece. Remember... You do not have to season this chicken. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. The eight report, put it in there. Let's use the dry hand. Oh, it's breaking. Oh snap, it's working. Did y'all imagine I have on black pants when this flower is over? <laughs> it's all right though. You ever heard the saying, soap and water cleans everything but sin? <laughs> Not the story. Okay, see? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit there. I'm going to let it sit there. Because the grease isn't quite hot anyway. But on the regular, I would let it sit on a... Hold on, guys. I see fat. I see big fat. I don't want to see no fat now. I don't want to see that. We don't want to taste that. That's the fat fat. All right, so put it in there. Put it in the egg. 
Please don't beg to take you out the egg. All right, let me see. Let me check this. All right, I'll we'll turn you up a little bit. Turn it up just a little bit more. Uh, but I don't want to do. That's a big. That's a big one over there, and it's gonna need all the room. That's the big bad bully over there in the egg. He ain't gonna fit over here, not comfortably. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop this video, and I'm gonna wait for the for the oil to get real hot. Hot enough, not real hot. Hot enough. And then I'm going to come back. See you later. All right, so I'm back. I'm going to think that this oil is hot enough right now. So I put my chicken in skin side up. My skin side is up. Skin side up, all right? Shake all the excess flour off. Just let that fry. And while that's frying, I'm back over here putting the big granddaddy of all chicken thighs in the flour. So you might be wondering why my chicken thighs do not have bone. Because I decided to take the bone out. I like I like boneless chicken thighs, but they cost so much in the store. So I came and I did it myself. I'm the queen of filet, all right? <laughs> I'm a fishing woman. I filet. I know how to do that. Chicken, fish, same difference. I'm just doing a little tidying up over here while that chicken fry. really put any vegetable you want with this but I'm not gonna put no vegetable with this today it's a little late I decided to do this so I'm not putting no vegetables <laughs> but anything can go with this you can put some string beans I always love string beans with potato salad. I always like that. So that's the basic of it. Remember, you don't you do not have to season your chicken. A lot of people think if you don't season the chicken, it's just not going to be right. Trust me. I'm a big girl. I like food, and I need my food to taste good. And this is absolutely delicious. It's delicious without putting all that stuff on the chicken. All they do is come right off. Now, I'm not going to put that other chicken thigh in there because it's big, and it's going to crowd it, and I don't, I don't want to crowd it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off, and then... I'll put it back on once I flip it. What you want to do, let me just tell you this. You don't want to mess with this. All right? You want to leave this still so it can get nice. Nice and golden brown on one side. Before you go taking it and flipping it. Remember, there's no bone in this. So this don't have to cook as long as it would if it had bone in it. Just keep that in mind. You do not have to cook this as long as you would if the bone was in it. All right? I shall return.
All right, did you guys miss me? It's time to turn this chicken over. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice and golden. Mmm, there we go. Mm -hmm. There you go. This is what I like. I like golden brown. Golden brown. That is beautiful chicken. I don't know if the camera do it any justice. So look good, man. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Next time I come back, I have a plate ready for you guys to check it out. All right, see you in a one and a two and a three and four. <laughs> well, I'm back and the chicken is done. The potato salad is done. Like I said, I'm not going to make any vegetables. I just don't feel like it. But this is the result of the fried chicken. Nice, right? Crispy. This is the potato salad. I said the plate would be done, but nah, it's not. I'm going to make it right now with you. Take your potato salad. Well, everybody know how to do this. There we go. And we're going to take this piece of chicken. And there we go. Alright. It's nothing to it. Nothing to it but to go ahead and do it. Trial and error. If you mess up, start all over again. Alright. This is fried chicken and potato salad. 101. Yes, quite simple. All right, thank you so much for watching, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, I would like for you to come back again because I have more recipes. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you can know when I did it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you might want to subscribe because when I look back, when I'm way a gazillion subscribers, sub sorry, subscribers ahead, I could look back and say, you was one of my first subscribers. And you nobody knows where to come from that. All right? So please, subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.